Hello and welcome to another Cactus Hill Adventure. In this episode, we're going to be returning to the Fish Lake National Forest in South Central Utah along the Highway 24 corridor. And we're going to be generally in that area shown by the circle. And we're going to be in the Mitogi Mountains and we're going to be going to the Crater Lakes, Twin Crater Lakes. Here's our route we're going to take. If you follow the arrow, we're coming off of Fremont River Road. Going generally west, northwest, and then we're going to make a turn to the north, head towards Crater Lakes. There's more detailed area shown. It's on Forest Road 046 and Forest Road 045 as it heads to Crater Lakes there. Here we go on our adventure today. And uh, this is kind of mid trip. Uh, we had no idea we were going to go on this road. We kind of picked it by random and heard about it and I didn't turn on the GoPro until we saw this beautiful canopy of colors here in the Mitogi Mountains. So I think we're already on Forest Road 045. I will be putting out a return from the Twin Lakes, Twin Crater Lakes, a video part two of this that will show most of the road going back. So uh, just enjoy the colors here, they're beautiful. Uh, the serenity of this area, uh, it was wonderful. Uh, we enjoyed this road very much. We're big fans of uh, fall colors if you haven't figured out. If you watch any other videos on our channel, we did one in Autumn Mountain which is this is basically in the same area and uh, we also did one at Zed's Meadow so here we're going to come up to uh, I believe it's 45 E yeah that's it coming up on the left there it's a little uh, little road that goes out to like a cul-de-sac type road turn around yes 045 E going to go out and show you the view from there. It's probably not even a quarter mile out to this uh, overlook. And uh, just enjoy the fall colors. They are everywhere. We're going to be coming up on a trail marker on the left here. And we're going to be crossing the path of the Lakeshore Trail. on the left. Now the Lakeshore Trail is about 16 miles. We're going to zoom in on it and show you the other two trails there that go with it. It's the Doctor Creek Campground is the second one and Widgeon Bay is the third one there. And we're going to have a screenshot from alltrails.com. There's the where we are and there's the green is the 16 miles of the trail. Uh, I understand it's rated between moderate to difficult, so for those of you into backpacking and camping, I think that would be a great trail to take over a couple of days. So here we're going to stop and hang out a little bit, take a few pictures and enjoy the view. That was one of the ones I picked to show you, here's the topo map, and here in the blue is our trail up to the Twin Crater Lakes area. This is on Forest Road 045. Here you're going to get a glimpse of the lower Crater Lake and there isn't any water in it. You see a couple of rock piles there that would make little, nice little islands, but there's no water in it this year. This was in fall of 2022. This road becomes a little uh, rocky and a little rough through this area. This is probably the worst part of the roads that we were on the whole day right through here. So I wanted to show you this section. I think you'll need a four-wheel drive, high clearance vehicle to get through this section. An SUV with a little ground clearance might make it, 
but you really have to pay attention to your tire placement. If it isn't road, you can come flying through here at 20 miles an hour and hit those rocks. Wouldn't be fun. There's a great view of the lower crater lake. Another little rough section of the road here. Coming up here in a little bit, I'm going to show you a picture that I took at Johnson Reservoir in the fall of 2021. And remember this trip was done in the fall of 2022. And I'll also show you a picture of Johnson Reservoir from this year too. So you can compare the difference in the water levels and you'll see what I'm talking about when those two pictures come in the frame here. There's fall of 2021 and here's fall of 2022. Notice the difference in the water levels, quite a difference. All right, coming up here in a little bit, I'm going to have do a little fun with the video. We caught a insect called a tarantula hawk come into our view and I'm going to go frame by frame and show you this guy or gal. These tarantula hawks are quite common around this area. We've seen them all over Utah and they have a really nasty sting. There it is. And I'm going to show you a picture of one close up. The female I understand has a real nasty sting so if you see them Give them a lot of clearance. Well here we're gonna pull over to the right here, take a break, have some lunch, and fly the drone. Beautiful view of the lower Twin Crater Lake. Here we go on the drone. place we parked at was on pretty solid ground but if you walked out a little ways into the kind of the colored areas there it was a little uh, soft and muddy so uh, that's why we didn't go out any farther or hike out there there's yours truly and a little red Beautiful blue skies, white puffy clouds, cumulus, a little cirrus in there for good nature. There's the road we're going to be continuing on here in a little bit, and a beautiful view of the fall colors at the lower Twin Crater Lake. Beautiful view. Again, that's Forest Road 045 in the Mitogi Mountains. I did a lot of research on the Mitogi Mountains to find out what Mitogi means. Sounds like a Native American name, but I couldn't find any definition of what it means. So if anybody out there knows more about the Mitogi Mountains, please comment. Okay, we're winding down on the drone footage here. One more pass over yours truly.
and we're back on the road. I want you to look at those storm clouds in front of us. Those have been kind of looming around all day during this trip. And again, here's a little bit of a rough section. Nothing too crazy. But again, probably a four-wheel drive with a little high clearance. Looking pretty black in front of us. At this point, those rain clouds are starting to concern us a little bit. Even though, as I mentioned before, we're not in a canyon or a wash or anything. But they look pretty ominous. Just enjoying the beautiful view of the fall colors. And here's a little bit of rough road. Again, nothing too difficult, but something you gotta pay attention to the, the rocks that are sticking up in your tire placement. We are aired down about 15 pounds, so. So the ride was pretty good the whole day. see the trail up ahead it looks like it starts to narrow a little bit and with the weather up in front of us we decided just to turn around here and not go up to the upper crater lake so we're gonna flip a u-turn basically here in this meadow looks like a good place to uh, camp if you're into camping I don't know the rules and regulations for Fish Lake National Forest. Uh, you want to check in with the, at the Fremont office uh, in Loa for this forest. Here's a beautiful view of the lower Twin Crater Lake. And I'll remind you at this time, I always remind you of this, you won't know if you don't go. Thanks for watching. It's much appreciated. Take care and be safe out there. And one more thing. Look for part two coming up soon.